Okay, so I'm going to be showing you how you can sew buttons onto a reversible garment. Um, if you sew the, the buttons on just one uh, on top of the other on either side of your fabric, then um, you run the risk of tightening it too much. And so if you just sew them on normally, just one on top of the other, if you sew them down, then it can be too tight for you to actually be able to get the button through the buttonhole. So one of the ways that we can avoid that from happening is sewing with a spacer. So first I'm going to use a contrasting um, thread here just so you can see um, what I'm doing. So you have to do this by hand. You can't do this um, on the machine, or at least I don't know how to do it on the machine. So I'm going to anchor down my thread first. And I'm actually going to do just a couple of stitches on um, one of the buttons just to kind of anchor one of my buttons down. Just so I have an idea of where um, the button needs to go. So obviously you're going to follow your pattern directions on button placement. But I'm going to do this um, just on this scrap, paper, scrap fabric just so you can see kind of what's going on here. Okay, so I've kind of anchored down one of my buttons. On my second button, I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to place my button kind of on top here. I kind of start anchoring it. I put one thread through and then I found that using a toothpick to kind of provide a little bit of extra space is all I usually need. That provides me with just enough um, of a difference between on one side to the other. So now the tricky thing is usually holding the toothpick in place, honestly. So I just make it where the toothpick is going to run um, kind of between my threads. So I'm just sewing over the toothpick essentially. And finding where my holes are here. So the more you do, the more stable the toothpick is going to get, but the first couple of stitches are a little bit um, tricky. And I'm having a hard time finding the holes here. So, just find the holes. Alright, once you get it all set so much quicker, but if you're like me, it takes multiple attempts to finally get this going correctly. So I apologize for the jumpiness of the of the video, but you get the idea here. When you're done sewing on your buttons, then you will just remove the toothpick. So I'm going to just finish it right there. So you're going to remove the, the uh, toothpick and then it just provides just a little bit, let me see if I can show you, just a little bit of gap on both sides so that when you're putting it through the buttonhole you actually have room. And that's it. 